Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing this beautiful makeup look. You could use this for the holiday time frame. You can use this for a date night. You can use this for a girls' night out. You can use this for whatever you desire. It's perfect, it's subtle, it's a little pop of color. Beautiful and classy. For this look, I used the Natasha Denona, the Mini Love palette so if you want to see how i achieve this look then just keep on watching before we get to it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads i upload new videos every sunday and i can't wait to see you again next time let's dive right in i'm going to use the milk hydro grip primer just to really get that base going This primer has really been growing on me. I've been using it all week under a mask and it has been really, really good. I really strongly recommend it. We're gonna cover the under eye area, the discoloration with the Becca under eye corrector. And I like to bring it to the eyelid as well. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Floss Filter. I haven't used this one in a little bit and I like it so, so much. It's one of my ultimate favorites. The coverage is unreal. It's like your skin, but way better. And it lasts all day. I'm gonna use a Kabuki brush and I'm just going to start buffing this into the skin. It just blends so effortlessly. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect. I feel like I haven't used this one in so long. And I really want to revisit it because I love it so, so much. It's like my ultimate go-to. Put a little bit of it here just to brighten up. Cover all discoloration. While that gets a little bit tacky and a little bit drier, I'm gonna use the Brow Styler from Benefit. It's the powder at the bottom and the crayon at the top. So I'm gonna use that powder and just pat over the bold spots. And now with the other side, the pencil crayon, I'm just going to outline and fill them in. And now with the beauty sponge, we're just going to start to blend. And at the same time, we're just going to clean up under the brow. For a little bit of more brightening, I'm gonna use the Tarte the Shape Tape. I'm gonna put it just right here in that dip of the eye. And just a little bit right here. I'm gonna use the Benefit the Professional Super Setter. And now with my beauty sponge, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend. And now I'm gonna set the under eye with the Pat McGrath Lab Powder. This has become my absolute favorite right now. There's nothing like this powder. It's super smooth, super blurry, super fine. I love it. And I just really press it into the skin. And like whatever's left, I come to the sides of the nose and the chin area as well and the forehead can't let it go to the waist you know how expensive this tiny thing is we gotta make it worth our while 
For bronzer, I haven't used this in a hot minute. This is the Too Faced the Cocoa Contour Palette. I'm gonna use, this is a Moda Angled Brush. I'm gonna use the light contour just to start chiseling the face and bring some warmth into the face. And I'm just bouncing this on top of that cheekbone and bringing it up to the temples of the forehead outlining the hairline bring it to the sides of the nose as well and don't forget about the chin area and the neck now with the medium contour, I grabbed a smaller brush. This is a Luxie small contouring brush. And I'm just going to deepen out a little bit more precise to where I want some more warmth. And just stay right here. I'm not really gonna bring it lower than that. For the blush, I'm gonna use the NARS The Orgasm Blush, which is this beautiful pink right here and I'm gonna use the elf highlighter brush but it's nice and fluffy so it's like a highlighter blush in one it's super beautiful the reflection of the light believe it or not I just ate a burger I was super hungry, so I stopped this video to go eat a burger, and it was delicious. Anyway, I'm gonna hop into the mini, the Natasha Denona, the mini love palette, and I'm gonna start with this guy right here. And I'm gonna use this color to basically set my eye. And I'm using, this is a 635E Farrah brush. So make sure there's no creasing, just tap lightly, and it'll just disappear. And we're setting the eye with this shade I'm just doing stamping motions at first to precisely place the color where I want it to go and once you're done stamping the majority of the color then we can do circular motions and start blending everything and diffusing any harsh lines that may have been left behind and this color is such a pretty like muted mauvey color it's really really beautiful it's like the perfect transition shade i'm gonna take that same eyeshadow color and i'm gonna use a morphe m506 brush and i'm just going to run it through the lower lash line and just connect the whole eye look together and start shaping everything I'm going to grab the darkest shade in the palette and I'm going to use a lavish eye shading brush for this and I'm just going to start dipping out the outer corner with this shade and I'm going to bring it up to the crease area. First I'm stamping the color and this will give me more control over the area that I want to cover if I go gradually little by little instead of just at once and then it's going to be so much harder now i'm going to grab this shade right here and this is a all over shadow brush this is like a darker more corally pink shade and i'm just going to use this buff up the crease area back and forth and blend the darker shade more seamlessly and this will also amp up the warmth of the shade that we just placed. So I'm just repeating this motion until I reach the desired blendability or opacity. And I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to go back into this darker shade right here and then I'm going to blend it out with this shade right here and I'm going to continue back and forth between both brushes until I get to where I want to go. Now I'm going to hop into this shade right here. This is the shade called Love. And I'm going to use a Luxie 245 small shader brush for this. 
I'm going to dampen my brush with my setting spray. And I'm going to put it in the center. Start working my way upwards and connect it with the previous shade a little bit up until the crease area. Now I'm going to hop into the shade called R, this guy right here. And I'm going to use a Luxie 246 Precision brush. I already went ahead and damped it with some setting spray. And I'm going to put this in the inner corner and make my way up. Staying right here in that line, following the eye shape. And then we're making our way inwards to connect it to the eye look and we start stamping okay so now i'm going to grab this shade again right here called u and i'm going to use a morphe m507 and i'm going to run it through the lower lashes and now with a more precision brush this is a luxie 217 pencil brush i'm going to hop into the shade called my right here the darkest one and it's the cutest thing because this palette, it's called You Are My True Love. Each shade is You Are My True Love. And I think it's the cutest thing ever. I'm going to put this in the lower lash line. For my inner corner, I'm going to use the Freematic Highlighter in the shade Glisten. And I'm going to use a small pencil brush. And I'm just going to put it right here and bring it down as well to connect everything. Now I'm gonna use the Orgasm X from NARS, which is a more brighter coral shimmer shade, blushy thing. I'm gonna use my brush and I'm just going to put it right here. Yes, and blow this out. There we go. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Bite Mascara. I really really love this wand so so much it's nice and thick and fluffy and i just love it it's perfect so i look down and i brush up in a twisty motion how beautiful is this mascara i just can't right now for the lips, I'm going to use, this is the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Blushing. Okay, now that we outlined the lips, I'm going to tone it down with the L'Oreal Matte Karen shade 800, which is this beautiful, beautiful shade right here. And I'm just going to brighten, kind of ombre my lips. Okay, I'm going to top off the lips. This is the NARS, the Orgasm lip gloss, and I love it. Okay guys, and this is the final look. I absolutely love how it turned out. I am so, so thankful and grateful that I listened to my best friend. She's been raving about this eyeshadow palette for forever. She loves pinks and mauves and all those shades. They are not my personal favorite. I'm more of a neutrals gal, but I wanted to step out of my comfort zone because her and I, we have this thing where we push each other to step out of our comfort zones. I feel that's something that's really important. We can't just stay stuck in one thing. We have to venture and open up and be open-minded towards new possibilities and changes and adapt and overcome. I hope that you liked it. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. It would help me out so much. And give me some love and comments down below. Say hi if you're new. Welcome. I post new videos every Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I will see you next time with another beautiful makeup tutorial. Bye.